first round leader Lashley for birdie at 15. Well, he's breaking a few rules there about staying connected but it works. <laughs> <laughs> Fiddling around at elbows out. Quite unusual putting stroke but when it's on. And the first Lashley started his day on 10 so this is 10th hole. A little bit earlier, a little wedge. Not a, not a lot of room to the right of the flag. Oh, very good. Well, that's an interesting marking. He's yeah. got, yeah, he's got, uh, it looks like the sad face. I hope it's going to be smiling. It is. Yeah. <laughs> so, so now it's going, did, did you think the lines change the on the ball when he picks it out of the hole? <laughs> I bet they do. Well, he found another fairway and from 132, great opportunity with a wedge. A front left hole location, very access accessible. Yeah, another good one. Nate Lashley doing a good job of keeping the ball in play in the fairway so he can attack. Hey, Kurt, you made a really good comment that the curved line when you look down probably looks straight. It definitely does. I actually, Nate Lashley uses a device that he puts on the ball so that he uh -huh. can make those lines. I've actually seen it. He lives in Scottsdale, Arizona now. I've seen the device and uh, he, yeah, he, uh, he showed it to me one day. It's, it's kind of cool looking. Back at one Lashley to take the lead to two. I like it. It's a good start, Nick. Perfect. Mm. That's, that's uh, you've been thinking about that, about that all night. How do I come out? How am I going to feel? How am I going to react? Mack himself didn't start playing golf until he was stationed in Europe in the early 60s. Let's go back out to the seventh. Third shot here, Peter. Had to keep it down a little bit from 120 to under to go underneath the branches. And he's done it again. Look at this. And maybe oh, did it. Oh, how about that? Well, the full tour of the seventh hole, it looks really like a great chance for a four. Tap, tap, tap. Mm -hmm. And in she goes mm -hmm. for another birdie. Four through seven holes. So now at four under, he's actually got to just, a lot of pressure on himself. Downwind from the right, 90 yards. He could cut this back up into the breeze a little bit and really kill it. See that divot just a little left of the flag. So he's trying to hit a cutter. Come on, come on. Very beautiful golf shot. Well, he's controlling those wedges. Nice, Peter. Well, I like a strong grip and swinging left with wedges. It really helps you control the loft and the trajectory and the spin. Let's get out to the 10th. Boy, not much in this putt. Well, Peter, he looks really clean so far. It's Lashley about to, to go here. 146, just a pitching wedge, flighting it down again on a terrific line. Yeah. Oh good. boy, going right after it. Look at that shot. Well, a flag's on the left with a little bit of breeze. Scare you. Anyway, for a two shot swing <laughs> and to take him to 20 under. Yeah, put him at 20. How about this guy? How impressive. Six under through 12 holes. Bringing it in very low, trying to skip it back there. Oh, what a shot. Nate Lashley has taken control of this tournament today. About to go 21 under. Two feet, five inches, just to tap in for Nate Lashley. 21 under par. Good, full, solid swing, nothing yeah, just, ridiculous. Just nice trajectory. Ah! There it goes yeah, on the wind. I love the look of it. How about that? That's the best shot all day at 18. Well, it's only going to be a tickle. That's one of the best rounds all year on tour by anyone. Nate Lashley comes in leading. Expands that lead to six. Just got to hang on to that club face, keep it square, not let it go left. He likes it. A lot to like. Just a hair left here yesterday. But he's hanging it in there. That's better than okay. Boy, he looks good. I just like his movement. If he can keep it smooth. Got 
Got his tempo, boys. He got everything else. He couldn't have drawn it up any better. It's par five, and Lashley yesterday drove this over the trees on the right into the sixth fairway and still made birdie. Yeah, there's out of bounds to the left. Yeah. This one should be a little Wait. bit better. Sure is. Like perfect. Yeah, slide up slope, good lie. That's what these guys do. They're good. You give them a good lie in a bunker, and they're expecting to get it inside tap in range. 13th hole, 393, just a little hole there. See those two bunkers? Just hit it right over them, guys. Boom. Boom. There it goes. Perfect. Average down there this week. Amazing. Back one. Just 80 yards on this shot, and he was brilliant with these yesterday. Oh, there we go. Got a cup left. It's been great all week. Really good tempo and rhythm and timing. That was ridiculously huge, that one, yeah, for the old comfort level. It certainly was, Nick. <laughs> good field here. Overcooked it a little. Not at all. With the way we had Tracer going there, it looked like he was going a little bit left, I thought, but instead he is very safe. In in the shade. And in the shade. Just get it out. All righty. Do I hear 25? Same swing, please. Four iron. Oh, this wanted. is on a terrific line. There we go. Walking after it. Oh, there you go. Just remarkable. <laughs> well, Jim, I'm going to say you never know how strong you are. And sometimes you get to a, a story that you, they just, you, you look for the right words. You, know, you try to figure out how to define it, and the story writes itself. And boy, did he deserve it. Nate Lashley, the winner of the Rocket Mortgage Classic.